Welcome to this episode. And today I'm going to ask you a question. What is abundance? And the answer actually might surprise you. So we're going to spend a few minutes looking at the concept of abundance, and then we're going to redefine it. What does it actually mean to be abundant? One version of the definition of abundance is acquiring as much wealth as possible and as much power as possible. And that's a traditional, widely accepted definition. Living an abundant life does not entail being able to amass more toys or taking advantage of the power to exert influence over other people, according to my definition of the term. In other words, it is living a life that is balanced and fulfilling on all levels, including your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and financial ones. Your life will be out of balance and you'll experience feelings of emptiness rather than a fullness unless you have everything lined up correctly. And when you're willing to put your ideas into action for the benefit of everyone involved, and when you're willing to open your mind to your creative imagination, you will be able to experience prosperity and abundance. According to this point of view, the right to succeed is a human right. And it is your right to claim it right now in every aspect of your life and your business. Now, of course, over the last thousands of years, the majority of the civilized world has held a belief that humans as the highest species on earth are the accumulation of the process of evolution. And the myth actually asserts that humanity finally reached a point where we could conquer and dominate nature. Hmm. Many people believe that it is self-evident that the resources of nature belong to humanity in whatever manner they deem appropriate. And very few people question the fact that we are essentially on a mission to bring law and order to an untamed world. And as a result, it should come as no surprise that up until this point, we've been forced to find riches and success through aggressive and competitive means. Not only are we at war with nature, which consists of removing the best parts of it and abandoning the remainder, we're also at war with ourselves. Observing this situation from the sidelines, many people have concluded that acquiring wealth and success without also achieving a sense of fulfillment in one's life is a pointless game. A great number of people choose to abstain from the process or they decided to acquire their money through reliance rather than independence. While others waited to engage in combat, they made the statement, I can do anything, you can do better. In any case, this has all too frequently felt like a struggle that is being lost. The planet is transforming. It is becoming increasingly apparent to us as a civilization that we are no longer able to bear the cost of excluding every single member of society from positions of power and responsibility. In addition, nature is demonstrating to us that we can no longer disregard the natural laws that she has established to assist in the formulation of new values, and the perception of new answers. These challenges at the national and the global levels require the very best in you to be called forth. In addition, the fact is the time is running out. Our world is suffering from the wrongdoings of the past. It's time to learn how to regain control of your life, and how to be successful in both your personal and your professional endeavors. It's not necessary for you to deny your natural nature to achieve genuine prosperity, even though you may have been conditioned to think from a dependent perspective rather than a prosperous perspective. Truth is the opposite. A shift in viewpoint, a new look, and how your beliefs and qualities lend themselves to this process is vital to the process developing basically in the broadest sense. So these are some of the things that I share with my coaching clients who come to me 
to achieve spiritual, financial, and emotional abundance. And it is time to honor and follow the natural spirit of your intuitive power. This will allow you to make money, to accomplish the life's work that you absolutely love by adhering to the spiritual laws of money and abundance, as well as learning how to master prosperity and manifest in all aspects of your life and of your business. Now, if you want to grab the free guidebook to manifest what you want, the link is here. Get it today while it's still available. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you here next time at Live Well, Earn Well.